How to play and train a German Shepherd puppy. Many dog owners think that it is not allowed to play using a sleeve. There are even some people that believe it is not allowed to play with a dog toy, because this supposedly developed dominance. This is a wrong point of view and a wrong method of training and building good relations with the dog. Any normal, self-confident, dominant dog can play with a puppy, can fall down in front of it and allows to bite itself. This doesn't mean at all that such a dog cannot bring a puppy down a back or two. The same story with people. If you train the dog, if you want it to obey, if it respects you, then you can undoubtedly play with the pet, sometimes or even more often. If you don't train the dog, but just read old books that say it is not allowed to let it pass in front of you, stand, it is not allowed to feed it before you have a meal, down, but don't control the dog's behavior, the dog is insolent, doesn't respect the owner, then it is better not to use the sleeve to play. So, if you are responsible about training your dog, and playing with the sleeve is one of elements to train the pet, then you can do it. But there is a question, what for to play with the sleeve? There are several reasons. When you use the sleeve, playing with the dog, struggling with it, then you save money on an assistant. The dog that got used to work with its mouth, that is acquainted with such a game, is capable of guarding your property. Therewith, don't be afraid that the dog will confuse you with the assistant and will bite you instead of a bad guy, intruding into your territory. The dog understands who is who. Anyway, it will work with the assistant differently than with you. You can lay the basis for being able to work with its teeth and enjoying the struggle by your own. And this doesn't cost a thing. In addition, such a game will train the dog's obedience, because alternating game and work, you teach the dog how to switch from the game to discipline. This trains its obedience and helps you gain authority. If you don't play with the dog, then you won't be able to stop it when it wants to play with you. That is, many people don't know how to stop a dog that jumps up on them. But if you can't stop the dog that bites you, it won't be a problem for you to stop the dog that jumps up on you and tries to lick your face for joy. Professional Dog Training School Walk Service If you like the video, subscribe to our channel for free. And click like.